This is the Covent Garden branch of Waterstones, in case you haven't had a real establishing picture at the beginning of the interview. This is my Waterstones, what I worked in when I was uh, poor. And just around the corner was the science fiction section where I came up with the idea for Rivers of London. The idea was, oh God, please let me write a book so I can make some money. The first book is mostly set around Covent Garden. I essentially set it within walking distance of where I worked. So on lunch hours, I could go out and I could look at the buildings and I could work out where the chases were and everything like that. And the story took me to burning down Covent Garden, which was hilarious. Sometimes you have to go to the places that the story says that you're going to go to. You can't kind of fight the story. And it's quite fun because I now imagine that things like the Genius Bar were all established in the rebuilding phase after it was burnt down. And that's why all the shops were changed and everything. City Read is like uh, another one of these attempts to get people to go to their libraries and read books, which is I think a very laudable thing. Libraries are very, very important and we will really, really, really miss them if we lose them. Me and uh, Ben Bailey-Smith, otherwise known as Doc Brown, are going to cluster around with a real genuine Mark II Jaguar and give away copies of my books because my publisher feels that it's a year without sunshine if they haven't given away one of my, my books for free. Would you like a, a dedication? Yeah, uh, Nick. From, from Ben to Josh, right? For some reason, when you're a Londoner, they always ask, why do you write about London like, like you should possibly, despite the fact that you grew up there and know loads about London, nothing about Birmingham, you should maybe set your books in Birmingham instead. People don't really believe in native-born Londoners. Like, if you look at all the great London novels, a lot of them have been written by non-Londoners, and they tend to think of like, London as like a single aspect. It's like this big film screen upon which they project their hopes and fears and nightmares. Whereas if you're a Londoner, it's actually, it's like where you live. It's where you're from. And that's a slightly different relationship. Hello. If you're a Londoner, London is your hometown. So it's not like somewhere you went because it's exciting and to further your career. It's, it's where, you know, you, your first film, it's where your cinema was, where your home was, where your relatives were from, where your relatives live, probably live now, where, you, where your first kiss, your first school, you know, all of these things, are like, it's got that kind of network. It's like, it is your small town. It's just a very big small town. It just never occurred to me not to write in London, not because I'm, you know, massively London-centric media Hampstead type, but because I'm a Londoner, you know, and, and can sing the second verse of Maybe Hope is because I'm a Londoner. Oh. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.